Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Tucker. Today I am going to go over the vocabulary for our new story, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble can be found in Unit 4, Lesson 16 of our Journeys book. And since this is, this is the first time that I'm going over this vocabulary, I will read the vocabulary word in the sentence on the front, and I will give you the definition and a little explanation about what each word means. So our first word today is the word received. On the front of the card it says, the boys received some money for raking leaves in the yard. And if you look in the picture, you can see they're holding fists full of money out. So when you receive something, or if you received something, it means someone gave something to you or sent something to you. So these boys raked leaves and they received or someone gave them money for doing that job. Another vocabulary word for this story is the word account. The girl opened a bank account with the money from her allowance and you can see she's holding out her piggy bank it looks like to the bank teller. When you have an account with the bank it means you take your money to the bank and you leave it there. So you leave your actual money at the bank and they keep it safe for you. And then you take out that money when you leave it, when you need it. So having an account means you take your money to the bank and then you take it back out of the bank little by little as you need it. Um, so this girl looks like she has her piggy bank. She's going to take it to the bank and she's going to not leave the piggy bank there, but leave the money in the bank and then she will take it out as she needs it. Talking a little bit more about money is the word budget. A budget is a plan for how you should spend your money. And it says right here, my budget for the field trip, I have $11, I will spend $4 on lunch, I will spend $5 on souvenirs, I will spend $2 on a snack. So just like it says on the front of the card, a budget is a plan for how you're going to spend the money that you have. You have a certain amount of money, you want to make sure you spend it and get the things that you need, as well as hopefully some of the things that you want. Maybe your parents do things on a budget. They make a certain amount of money at their job, they know that they need to put some of that money towards certain things that they need, like groceries or pay for the cable bill or the electric bill or pay for rent but then hopefully you have some money left over for things that you want like to go to the movies or to go out and get pizza or something like that so having a budget is having a plan on how to spend the money that you have our next word is the word disappointed it says he was disappointed or sad that he would not be able to buy the book. So the boy is a little disappointed. When you're disappointed, it means you feel unhappy because something you hoped for did not happen. So this boy wanted to buy a book. It looks like he brought all of his money. He's got a bunch of change here. There's still some change in the jar. He wanted to buy the book, so he went to the store to buy the book. He didn't have enough money. So he's disappointed. He feels unhappy because he wanted to buy the book and he couldn't after all. Something he wanted to have happen couldn't happen. Chuckled is another one of our vocabulary words. Her dad chuckled when he saw her tiny piggy bank. If you look at the picture, it looks like they're both smiling and kind of laughing. And chuckled means to laugh quietly. So if you ever kind of laugh quietly, ha 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 ha, that could be chuckling. So he was chuckling or laughing quietly when he saw how small her piggy bank was. Staring is another vocabulary word. The girl was staring at the money. Should she save it or spend it? If she's staring or if you're staring at something, it means you're looking at something for a long time. So she's staring, she's looking at that money for a long time. Hmm, should she save it or should she spend it? Hmm, I wonder. 
Our next vocabulary word is the word repeated. Let me move the card down a little bit here. The car wash was such a big success that the class repeated it in May. Here they are washing cars. If they repeated something, or if you repeat something, it means they did it again, or they said something again. In this case, they did the car wash again. If something is repeated, it means it's somebody did it again or said it again. So if you repeat something like I just did, I repeated the definition, it means I said it over, I said it again. Okay, so repeated means you do it again or say it again. You get it? Ha. And then last but not least, fund is our last vocabulary word for the story. The players got new shirts by raising money for the team fund. A fund is when people do an activity or an event to collect money, and then they save that money for a special reason or a purpose. So we sometimes at school do fundraisers. That means we are collecting money. We're selling things or doing activities to collect money for something special, like maybe new playground equipment, or maybe new t-shirts that all say Waggletown Elementary School on them, or in like this case, they got new shirts for their team. So when you have a fund, it means you do an activity or an event to collect money and then you save that money for a special reason or a special purpose. Those are the vocabulary words for our new story, Mr. Tannen's Tri Trouble. I appreciate you listening and I will see you again and talk to you again soon. Have a good day. Bye.